Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Talking. So Abraham buys a new house, excitedly celebrates a new deal. It was just some hours ago to Abraham share the good news that yet another one. And she shared a picture of herself in front of her home inside her car and showing some excitement. And some news platform already carried this news that Tony Abraham buys a new house. It was two years ago when Tony was celebrating her birthday that she herself and her kids and her husband moved into their new home in the heart of Lekki. Tony also mentioned that her husband has two homes, one in Ibada and one in Lagos State. And she was giving thanks to what God has done in her life and the transformation over the years. Well, now they are sharing the news that Tony Abraham has acquired a new home. Meanwhile, just a while ago, Tony was sharing the news of a new deal on our official social media platform. She became a brand ambassador for Checkers Costed. She's also a brand ambassador for a real estate company, Revolution Plus Properties. And she's also an ambassador for Devon Kings NG. She also has her own businesses, including Cost Limited by Toying, Tukitile by Toying, Plusher by Toying, and Body Talk by Toying. And now, today, some hours ago, when she shared the news, yet another one. Many news platforms immediately speculated that she bought a new home. However, Toying did not say that she just got a new home. Then she had to come out to clarify that she did not buy any new home. This is just another endorsement due. And of course, it's worth celebration. Endorsement dues are usually worth millions of naira. So congratulations to Toy Abraham on this new endorsement deal. For those who may ask or for those who may want to know more about the style you purchased to Abraham, please stay with us. Toy Abraham was some years old as Uluto Aimaku. She's a Nigerian actress and a filmmaker who was born in Aochi, part of Edo State. And she has been active in this movie industry since the year 2003. She accidentally started acting when Buki Wright went to Ibadan to shoot a movie to get Bembo and one of the actresses did not show up. So Toyin was asked to fill in for that actress and that was how her journey began in the movie industry. Since then, she has directed, starred in and produced many movies. She is known to have featured in several blockbuster movies. In fact, she is known as the queen of box office and also the queen of comedy in Nigeria. And some of the movies she has featured on over the years include The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, Two Weeks in Lagos, The Millions, Casanova, Ling Legoshins, Nimbi, Diamonds in the Sky, The Ghost and the Child, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys, What Just Happened, Alakada Reloaded, Esoe, Akunde, Mentally, Tattoo, London Fever, Wives and Strider Revolution, Celebrating Marriage, Okafo's Law, What Makes You Think, Loves in the Hair, Alaniba Balabake, Ebimini, Alakada, Shalafi Pami, Shadow Panthers, Kambili, Day of Destiny, and Today the Bimbo, just to mention a few of them. This time Yuba Chess is well known, not just in the Yuba sector of Nollywood, but also in the English sector of Nollywood. She's one of the most sought after actors. As Yale mentioned, Tony was born in Aochi part of Edo State, where she began her education and attended Oba Kenzo Nojo and Prime School in Benin. Later on, her father retired and the entire family moved to Ibadan in Oyo State, where she spent most of her early life. And in Ibadan, she started from Queen Star School, then St. Anne School. Thereafter, she proceeded to the Polytechnic in Oshun State to a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Dolabi Sombanjo University and back to the main philosophy before returning to the Polytechnic for an HND in marketing. She's the last of six children. She was only to pop back on a chat hook to support her family. So in Abraham's hobbies include singing, dancing, and cooking. And she changed the name from Tony Amaku to Tony Abraham in 2016 and officially added her husband's last name, Maji Amit her name, at the beginning of 2021. Even though she began acting in the year 2003, she didn't really take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. And her motivation to join the industry came from her boss, Pookie Wright. And subsequently, she began to star in all the films until she rose to stardom. As she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Ala Juta. She also had plans to produce Ala Juta Reloaded. Today, she's one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her sign, Naka Fesla, and working with the movie director Monopoly was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting. She hasn't consistent in making a name for herself. And over the years, she's known to have won several awards and nominations 
and some of the nominations include the Best Supporting Actress for Yubak Atsuko in Faru in Ebimine, Best Honor Awards 2013, the Best Actress in the Supporting Role Faru in Esui, African Movie Academy Awards, AMA 2018, and Best Actress in the Supporting Role Faru in Diamond in the Sky, in this category, Best Honor Awards 2019, just to mention a few of them. Some of the awards in the possession also include the Best Actress Faru in Awards 2014, the Best Indigenous Actress in Nigerian Awards 2014, the Best Supporting Actress Future Film, Faroui and Hakune, Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Actress in Hollywood, Mokuli Oita Awards, May 2017, The Best Female Act in Nigerian Tournament Awards, NA 2017, The Best Actress for Real and Alaka Devloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, LO 2017, The Best Supporting Actress for Real and Tartar, Africa Magic Vest Choice Awards, NVC 2018, The Best Actress in Africa, Africa Magic Vest Choice Awards, NVC 2020, and The Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards 2020, just to mention a few of them. In October 2019, Toei officially launched the herbal medicine business, Toei Herbal, a subsidiary of Toei Brown Company. This was shortly after she revealed how challenging her journey was to model it. And according to her, she discovered that a lot of people have abandoned the traditional remedies that saved their forefathers during crisis of childlessness. Rather, they have sought out other modern inventions which are quite expensive. Rather, they have sought out other modern inventions which are quite expensive and probably harmful to their health. As a result of this, she launched the Female Fertility Booster, a product that makes childbearing and conceiving easier. FAB enhances sexual health, balances menstrual cycle and cramps, supports and stabilizes pregnancy. And of course, as Ellen mentioned, she is also the CEO of Cups Limited by Toyin, Tokitila by Toyin, Plusher by Toyin, and Body Talk by Toyin. Overall, she is one of Nigeria's biggest social influencers. She has a large following on social media platforms. And Kenny4.com.ng estimated that net worth to be around $500,000. So she is both one of the richest and most influential actresses we have in the country. Also, over the years, some of Tony's quotes have been compiled by entrepreneurs.ng. And some of them include What out is a journey? A reality check where you realize that your life is no longer your own. Even in labor, to live or not to live is the hand of God. Happiness is personal. Don't let people determine your happiness. To be great in life, you have to be willing to be mocked, hated, and misunderstood. Life is too short to dwell on things that make you unhappy. So this is a little bit about the Yubacha story here. We have come to the end of the episode. Until Abraham buys a new house, or she's celebrating a new deal, and it is not a new house or a new car. But congratulations to Tony Abraham.